I present to you Gainesville, Texas, the most racist city in the South, where in 1862 Confederate traitors hung more than 40 white men for refusing to fight for the South. Retaining political and economic wealth, they went on 60 years later to erect two Confederate monuments in the Jim Crow era. The one on the Cook County Courthouse at the center of Gainesville celebrates the Confederacy as a white, pure nation. And when black community leaders peacefully protest these monuments, the white mayor calls them a mob. And Gainesville Police Chief Kevin Phillips, after issuing a permit for First Amendment protected protests, issued warrants for the arrest of community leaders for jaywalking. And armed white militiamen were allowed to terrorize protesters without repercussion, knowing they couldn't say it themselves. Local authorities had the ex-sheriff send a special message to protesters. Them some big old boys we got working for us. They fixing to be some sore heads. Now they're targeting activists for signs in their yard. According to Gainesville Chief of Police Kevin Phillips, it violates obscenity laws to have a sign like this on the fence in front of your house. But a sign like this in favor of Trump? That's perfectly legal. That considered, I sent an email to Chief Phillips reminding him that he is required to respect the First Amendment. I also reached out to Mayor Jim Goldsworthy to once again remind him that he too, as the mayor over the police department, is required to honor First Amendment rights. Reminded that he was a State Farm agent, I made sure to call State Farm and let them know why I canceled my home and auto insurance with the company. I also went ahead and left a one-star review for Jim Goldsworthy. And of course, we can't forget the all-white male Cook County Commissioner's Court, which continues to defend and protect the white supremacist Confederate monument at the center of Gainesville, Texas. All of these men have done their part to preserve white supremacy in Gainesville. They know that this monument attracts white supremacists, especially to peaceful protests where they terrorize black and brown activists and their allies. Put your weapon down! Keep your weapon down! Yeah, keep your weapon down! Explain what the ordinary southern white man would fight for. He gave a speech in Africa. Armed white militias who come out to intimidate black and brown people here in Gainesville. They never want to wear a mask in public just when they come out to intimidate people with their guns. What group are y'all with? Aren't you proud? Y'all ashamed? You ashamed of what you're doing? Don't want to tell anybody who you are? You know, the Klan used to hide their identity too. They used to hide their names and their faces and not tell anybody what organization they were in too. That doesn't sound familiar to y'all? The Klan used to do the same thing. That doesn't, that doesn't bother you that you function like the Klan does? Huh. Weird. Weird. That would bother me. That'd make me feel awkward. I'd feel awkward if my the things I say and did could be cited as identical as the way that Ku Klux Klan members behaved. I'd feel real uncomfortable. I'd be ashamed too. I'd be real ashamed. I'd hide my identity and not want to tell people what group I was in, too. I'd hide my name. That's what I'd do. I understand. What you're doing is pretty shameful, so I'd, I'd hide, too. We'll figure it out, though. Don't you worry. Oh, no, not me. What's your name? What group you in? What's the name of your organ? Oh, okay. You're not new, any member of any particular group today? Nope. This is a free country. This is America, isn't it? Oh, you're going to whoop my ass? What's your name? Is there an officer here who can take a police report? Hello? Hi. Anybody here who can take a police report? Anybody? Hello? Hello? Can, can any officer here take a report? Anybody? Are you are you not allowed to take reports today, sir? I need to file a police report. 
Okay. Uh, hey, are you able to take a police report? Hmm. You're telling me you won't take a report. The report would come from the deputies that are on patrol. Okay. Can, can you not use your dispatch to call a deputy? They're on call right now. It's got to come from you so they have your information. But I want to ID the person or else it's pointless. So once again, y'all are refusing to ID the person who threatened me? No. So you're telling me not to call 911 yes, and you can't a take a report. There's a number you can call to file a report. But I don't want to, I, I don't want to file a report over the phone because I can't ID Everything the person. Everything on the phone. So you can't, I just want to confirm Deputy Walters, you're telling me that out of all the Cook County deputies here today, you are not, no one here is able to take a report from me and, and you can't dispatch any do an on-duty officer here. I need to call a 911 number, emergency number. Yeah. Be sure to email and or call the Cook County judge and all four Cook County commissioners. Let them know that the nation is watching as they defend and preserve white supremacy in Gainesville, Texas, by protecting the Confederate monument at the center of town. You can also send this link to Cook County Sheriff Terry Gilbert and District Attorney John Warren. Let them know that the nation is also watching them protect terrorists in the name of white supremacy. Also, be sure to email Gainesville Police Chief Kevin Phillips and Mayor Jim Goldsworthy. Let them know that the nation is watching as they harass political activists. And finally, find Pro Gainesville on Facebook. Like their page and let them know that the nation stands with them as they continue their fight in Gainesville, Texas, the most racist city in the South.